Thumbs are up. Let's go in three, two, one, go. Welcome to qualification match number four. This one gets off with a Blue Alliance piece of cargo scoring in the high goal of the hub. To start us off, several pieces of low port cargo as well for the Red Alliance. Just about evening out the score. Actually exactly evening it out at eight points as drivers now take the controls. So far, a three-on-two break here. Red Alliance with a slight power play. Not sure if that Blue Alliance machine of alternating current will be joining us here later in the match. We'll see if they're able to get that one going. Several pieces of red cargo go flying, mostly to no avail. Two actually do connect there at the very end. Circuit Breakers breaking the streak of bad luck, picking up two points towards the Red Alliance score. And it looks like it's going to be quickly followed up with another two points from them as well. There was another attempt from Mustang Mechanica. Not quite successful, but they've got plenty of time to get some score on the board of their own. Long range pieces of cargo coming at you from the Blue Alliance. Looks like those were coming at you from Confidential way out there in deep field. Motors are spinning. We'll see if they decide to drive or if they're just hanging out back there somewhat near the Blue Alliance hangar. Speaking of the Blue Alliance hangar, the Red Alliance machine of Iron Mustang out of Trout Lake scoops up two pieces of cargo from right under there. They'll head over towards the Red Tarmac, lining up, thinking about it, thinking about it. We saw them pick up a traversal worth 15 points earlier in the match, certainly capable of contributing lots of score towards their alliance. On that cycle, they'll pick up two points just for the one piece of cargo in the high goal that was successful. 50 seconds left to play. Still basically a tie. Red Alliance currently down by six. They've quickly made that up, though, with a middle rung climb. That is worth six points of their own. The Mustangs heading up. Converting towards a 10-point climb now on the high rung, and that's going to make some room for their alliance partners, the Circuit Breakers out of Medical Lake. Not quite able to latch onto that middle rung. They're going to try again, maybe on the low rung this time. Might have all three of the alliance members airborne if this effort goes well. Blue Alliance's answer to that is going to be Team Chuck lining up with the middle rung. They got 15 seconds, plenty of time to figure out what they want to do. They are airborne. That would be worth six points if that's all they do. But it looks like they're hinting at a high rung climb. Convert to ten points. They got four seconds to do it. Three, two, one. That's the match. They'll stay on that middle rung. Still six points towards the Blue Alliance score. Looks like we'll end with just one Red Alliance victory. Your final score, 44 to 40 with three rank points. Going into the average of each of those Red Alliance teams, two for winning the match and one for exceeding the 16-point threshold of hangar score. Quals five.